I'll just put this down. Uh, I'm Lanzo Gorman, and uh, I guess uh, I've been painting now for over 35 years, probably even longer. And uh, what I'm wanting to show is what my classes entail. And I've got three classes at my Rainy Bay Art Centre at this present time. I've got um, for beginners and for more advanced students. But um, they call me an impressionist, a neo-impressionist, I guess, today. But uh, I'm not really an impressionist. It's just I start with impressionism and then work my way around. I find that impressionism is a great midway between realism and abstract. So I guess my classes are aimed for that area, realism to abstraction, or vice versa, abstraction to realism. Uh, what I'm just doing here is just a bit of a demo. Uh, I'm using acrylic painting just to give you some format that it's really a mess. But you can make something realistically out of chaos. And the whole idea with Impressionism in my classes is to allow the individual the freedom of expression. And the, all, all you need is paint, a canvas, and imagination, and you're away. And the whole thing is to get started. And I feel that once you start painting, then you know and you start working out the rules and what you can and can't do. Today, you try anything. If you know the rules, you can break them. The wonderful thing about Impressionism is it's very free. It's very open. It allows us to create things in our mind and with the mind and the hand, put them onto a surface like canvas. I guess to some extent, at the moment, what you see here is just a quick impression. But the idea is that if I go and put this into something that looks like a frame, then you start to see, basically, that you can start forming an image. But it becomes more exciting rather than a photograph and dead realism. This way, I can go to realism if I want to. If I want to slow down, for example, or I can go into abstract formats. And this is what I like to learn. And the whole point of teaching is to allow the individual to show up themselves. And so don't ever be afraid or worry or scared. Painting is for everyone. It's very important. We are so organized and structured in our world today that we sometimes find it very difficult to move out of that square. With this, we can have chaos, and that chaos may work out to be a really beautiful painting. Abstract is not simple. It can be quite complex. But I try to express simplicity in all my work. So the students, the simplest painting you can do, that's the way to start. So what I've done here is just a few examples. For example, I'm doing different work at the moment. I'm doing a series on what I call my journey through art, which this one is more graphic and more stylized. And so what we see here is something that's a little bit different. Now that's only half finished. There's a lot more to do to that one yet. That takes a long time. There's a lot of glazing, a lot of finishing. But that's how I start, as we started here. The other formats we've got are... Now, just over here, for example, a piece of work like that. Now that's just done at a, a workshop where I've got students to just put the paint on and play with it. Nothing more. But then, see, when you start to look at it, you can find little abstract pieces within the work itself. And so, from here, you can find one. Where I'm going with that, who knows if I did a large work. But I can paint with that for ages until something clicks. Another one, another one. So, from one work, you can find an awful lot of objects. Now, here, this one started with an abstract work. We did a workshop and I was getting students to put down transparent colours as a background. And it didn't go anywhere, it was just transparent background. Then we started doing a few bits and pieces and all of a sudden we ended up by creating flowers. 
and I'm not a flower painter, but I couldn't help but just find some images that looked like flowers. So I carried on with it. Here, for example, one of the students said, oh, that could be a crystal glass. So we put a top on it and made it a crystal container for sherry or wine. I put some people up here. We call it a garden party. So the idea of painting is that you can paint without any object in mind and suddenly develop an object. So it's from abstract colour, abstract impressionism, until we get something that's a little bit more realistic. Or we can go the other way and have in our mind something that we'd like to paint, so we simplify it down to its very basic ingredients and formulate an abstract painting. So it's a lot of fun. And at this stage, the whole idea is just to get people painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced student, there's something for everybody. But this is something, I guess, allows the individual to start getting more creative and looking for the creative journey. So thanks for listening, and uh, very brief it is, but come to the classes and you'll see more. Thanks.